Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, we have 20 uh, questions we will solve now. For quest 2. First one, which of the following satisfies m plus 15 greater than 6m? In other words, which value will make this sentence true? Let us try first one. m equals 4. If you put 4 here, it will be 4 plus 15 equals 19. And here it will be 4 times m, uh, 6 times 4, sorry, equals 24. At this case, this relation would be not true because 19 less than 24. If we take m equals 2, so it will be 2 plus 15 equals 17, and 2 times 6 equals 12. At this case, it will be true because of 17 greater than 12. So the right choice is B, m equals 2. For second one, Ali has 62 more erasers than Ahmed. Ahmed has F erasers. Write the expression. Then calculate how many erasers Ahmed has when f equals 132. First, as you know, the word more, it means plus, okay? Ahmed has f erasers and Ali has 62 more. So, the expression can be written as 62 plus f or f plus 62. Now he gives me the value of F132. So at this case, it will be 62 plus 132, it will be 194. So the question, what is the value of 3P minus 6P divided by C plus D square when A equals 9 and B equals 8 and C equals 4 and D equals 3. Here we just substitute and then follow the order of operations of lesson 1 2 to find the answer. So we write this sentence as 3 times a which is 9 now minus 6 times b which is 8 now divided by 4 plus 3 square. Now we can uh, solve this. 3 times uh, 9 equals 27 minus 6 times 8 equals 48 divided by 4 plus 9. So it will be here 27 minus. We have to finalize the division at first. So it will be 12 plus 9. And if you calculate it, 27 minus uh, 12 uh, plus 9, it will be 24. Next one, what is the value of 8B divided by A minus C squared plus D? The same like last one, just substitute 8 times 5 divided by A which is 2 minus c square 3 square plus 9 8 times 5 equal 40 divided by 2 minus 9 here d is 9 uh, plus 9 so it will be uh, 20 minus 9 plus 9 9 plus 9 and minus 9 equals 0 so it will be 20. Next one, use properties of operations to choose the correct equivalent expression. Number five, two, a bracket, three plus six y. Uh, using distributive property, we will multiply two times three and then multiply two times six y. So it will be 6 plus 12y, which is b. Next one, 16k plus 24. Let us check here. 8 times 4 equals 32. 
uh, not not uh, 16 here. 4 times 4 equals 16, but 4 times 8 equals 32, not 24. So these are wrong. Let us uh, check now, uh, C. 4 times 4 equals 16, and 4 times uh, 6 equals 24. So this is a choice. And here, 8 times 2 equals 16, 8 times 3 equals 24. This is also right choice. We have 2. Number 7, R plus R plus R plus R. Here, if you have 1 real plus 1 real plus 1 real plus 1 real, so you have 4 reals. Another way, if you take R as a common factor, you will find 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which equals 4, so it will be 4 R the same. And we take 1 before like this, in homework, B over 2 plus B over 2, equals what we said if you have half real plus half real of course you have one whole real but by another way you can add fractions with the same uh, denominator here 2 and p plus p as numerator it will be 2b over 2 which we can simplify by dividing by 2 to be b 1b which is b or by another way, if you take half as a common uh, factor, so it will be uh, b plus b equals half times 2b. We can simplify as well, and the result will be b. All are the same. Next one, write an algebraic expression to represent the area of a rectangle. As you know guys, area of rectangle equals length times width. We have length here which is 2x minus 1 and width which is 5. So apply this rule or this formula. <clears throat> it will be a equals 5 times 2x minus 1. If you left like this, no problem, but we can uh, use distributive property to write in a, another way like 5 times 2x equals 10x and uh, minus 5 times 1 equals 5 both of them are right answer next one what is a common factor of both terms that is greater than 1 in the expression 5y minus 20 it means which number I can divide both of 20 and 5 by of course, it's 5 because I can take 5 as common factor as I can write 5y minus 4 like this way. But the answer here about 5, the common factor. Next, simplify each expression. We have some expressions we have to simplify. At this case or at this type of questions, we have to collect similar terms. Like if we have here 4x squared and we have minus 2x squared. So the result will be 2x squared because 4 minus 2 is 2. And here minus 5, uh, it doesn't have any similar term. So we will write minus 5. That's all. Second one, 7y minus 4.5 minus 6y. Let us collect the similar terms. 7y minus 6y, of course, it's 1y, y. And here we have 4.5. It, ha it doesn't have any similar terms, so we will write, write 4.5. The same here, we have 4.2n, and here minus 3.2n, so it will be 1n and plus 5. Here, it's very important. Because what? Because we have z square and we have z. They are not the same. You have to collect similar terms. First, we have 1.5 z square plus 1 z square. So, total will be 2.5 square z. And here we have 6 z minus 3 z. So, it will be 3 z. And here we have 
4.5 minus 0 0.3 will be 4.2. For next one, 3x, we'll take 3x plus 7x, it will be 10x. And we have 2y minus y, so it will be y. And plus 14 at last. Number 15, all the expressions 3y plus 1 and 3y plus 3 are equivalent for y equals 1, y equals 2, and y equals 3. The answer, yes, they are equivalent. And you can check by yourself, just to multiply here using distributive property, 3 times y, then 3 times 1, you will find it 3y plus 3, which exactly equals second one. Also, you can substitute for y equals 1, y equals 2, and y equals 3, you will find they are equivalent. Next one, Muhammad says the expressions 6x minus 2x plus 4 and 4 bracket x plus 1 are not equivalent because one expression has a term that is, is subtracted and the other does not. Do you agree and explain? Let us check. 6x minus 2x plus 4 let us uh, collect the similar terms so it will be 4x plus 4 uh, we can take 4 as common factor it will be x plus 1 which exactly equals the second one so do you agree no why this is a proof next one the formula to find the perimeter of the rectangle P equal to L plus 2W. Use the formula to find perimeter of rectangle L, M, N, P. Here we have L equals uh, 12 and W equals 8. So we can apply the rule P equals 2 times 12 plus 2 times 8. So it will be... 24 plus 16 which exactly equals 40 40 square uh, sorry 40 feet without square number 18 the formula a equals l times w the same l is 12 and w is 8 so it will be area equals 12 times 8 equals 96 square feet number 19 are the two expressions shown uh, equivalent let us see here we have two ways to answer to answer this question first you have four of an expression minus one of them why? Because n plus 3 exactly equals 3 plus n using commutative property. So if you take 1 from 4, it will be, remember, 3, n plus 3. Using a uh, distributive property, it will be 3 times n equals 3n plus 9, which exactly equals second one. Or, by a simple way, you can just, uh, using distributive uh, property you will find the answer 4 times n equals 4n plus 4 times 3 equals 12 and here it's a minus you have to distribute on the bracket so it will be minus 3 minus n you have to distribute minus on all terms inside the bracket so now just collect similar terms you have 4n minus n which is 3n and you have 12 minus 5 which is 9 exactly equals second one so they are equivalent yes and y this is the proof okay here the, this formula and this formula are they uh, correct or no let us uh, solve for formula P equals 2 lens plus width 
using distributive property you will multiply 2 times L plus 2 times W 2L plus 2W which exactly equal the first one thanks guys and all best wishes for you all Assalamu alaikum